Little One Inch by Sais and Pre Fourth Grade. Once upon a time, there was an elderly man and woman living in a tiny house in the Japanese countryside. They were very lonely and wanted a child, so they went to pray for one at the shrine. When they were walking back to their house, they saw a little boy wrapped in a blanket lying in the grass. The boy was by himself and had no family. Our prayer was answered, they exclaimed. This boy must be a gift from God. They joyfully took him home and adopted him as their own child. The boy was special because he was very small and short. He never grew bigger than the size of a thumb, so they named him Little One Inch. When he got older, he said, I think I thank you very much for taking care of me, but now I would like to see the world and seek my fortune. Okay, then you can go seek your fortune, said his parents. His parents gave him a soup bowl to use as a boat and a chopstick to use for a paddle. He entered the river with his new boat and paddled off. Little One Inch was rowing his boat. A gust of wind came and flipped the boat, and he got swallowed up by the waves. Fortunately, Little One Inch was a very good swimmer, and he made it to the shore. When he saw a humongous building, it looked like a castle. Little One Inch was astonished. He entered the building and he wanted the servant to notice him, but Little One Inch was too tiny. The servant did not see him. When finally the servant noticed him, he went to tell the Lord. The Lord came out. Little One Inch said that he wanted to be the guard. The Lord said, you are too small to be a guard, but you can play with my daughter. Little One Inch became friends with the Lord's daughter, who was a princess. One day when Little One Inch and the princess were walking, an evil red monster came out and, tra and tried to catch the princess. I'll save you, princess, said Little One Inch. Little One Inch started poking the devil's stomach, with, but the red skin was too thick. Little One Inch hopped into the devil's mouth and started cutting the devil's tongue. Then Little One Inch jumped out and the de devil ran away and he dropped his magic hammer. After the evil devil dropped his magic hammer, the princess picked it up. She shook the hammer by wishing that Little One Inch will be bigger and bigger and bigger. Little One Inch grew and grew and grew until he became the same size as the princess. After a few years, Little One Inch and the princess married and lived happily ever after. The end.